someone else said, I don't understand why people are so concerned with your space and if you'll have enough room. Clearly, you had space in your other home and you have space now. How about taking that energy and send more baby dust your way? Anywho, I agree. I'm trying to declutter but keep buying stuff too. It's a vicious cycle. <laughs> Vlogmas day 16. Um, today's the 16th when I'm recording this. We've skipped over 15 because I was tired yesterday. I worked uh, Monday and Tuesday. It was very lovely. Um, I visited a friend who works at Banana Republic, who is actually the cousin of my um, former neighbor at the at the old place. Um, so I, I just want to show you this. I'll show you the clip while I continue talking about the lovely baby clothes. Um, so yeah, yesterday was a great day. I worked, I came home, um, I talked to my mom, and then I fell asleep. So that was that. Um, mom sent me this, which is why I called her. I got my Christmas present. So I got this lovely blanket. It's so soft and comfy. And it's in Tanika blue. And it has these little um, socks, which it came with. And my sister got the same, but in her favorite color, in purple. So I talked to mom about that and about Biden and about the COVID vaccine. What are your thoughts on the COVID vaccine? I'm not signing up for it. Um, I'm allergic to some medication and it's contraindicated for me or anyone who's allergic to medication. So yeah, I'm gonna wait and see how that all pans out. I don't think the country is going to be open as everyone is thinking. Um, I'm not sure why they are. First of all, you have to have two vaccines. You have to have two doses of the vaccine. There's only enough for 50 million people. I get the flu shot twice every year now. Um, so I don't know how long it lasts. And there's different strains of the flu shot, right? Or, of the flu. So then there's different flu shot strains. And if they were so great, you would just be one and done. Like if you get the chicken pock um, vaccination, you're inoculated. So anyway, that's a whole other story. I'm here um, and I wanted to say hello. We didn't do a hello fresh dinner because I was tired. I didn't even eat dinner last night. Um, and today I broke my ring light. So I feel like that's a sign. So I'm not sure. I'm ordering a new ring light. It probably won't be here. The ones I'm looking at is somewhere between Saturday and Tuesday. So either I'll be creative with my filming or I'll just take a little bit of break, TBD. Um, but yeah, so that is kind of what's going on. The update on the financial clearance. So from the um, I talked to Accolade, who I talked to on my employer side. They are going to have IBC contact the financial coordinator um, and update the information that she has been given. There's only one code that's being excluded, which is the actual retrieval code, but that cost is like $2,100. So I have to appeal that part of it with, it's a whole long story. Anyway, I think we're clear to move forward once that phone call happens. And I sent that email to the supervisor who can't talk on the telephone or who doesn't have access to a phone. I almost want to be like, do you, do you have access to Zoom? Like, can I have a... Anyway, that's a whole other thing. So hopefully we are moving forward there. Um, so I would still have to pay the donor fee, the administration fee, etc. So they need to send me that itemized bill um, or that itemized detail of the cost and a credit card authorization form, and then I'll send that and we'll be good. Then I will contact Perry, the um, donor coordinator, and hopefully I can donate the Gonal F also to the donor. If not, it's okay. My copay on the fertility meds is super low. It's like 50 bucks um, per each medication. So 50 for the Gonal F, 50 for the Cetratide. I don't know if, if she'll need Cetratide, 50 for the Minipure for each one. And so what we did in the past was just get like a boatload of them, order a boatload of them, and it's all of those for 50 bucks. I think it's like a limit up to 10 or something like that. Um, so why do two when you can do 10 and it's the same copay, right? So hopefully that's getting all sorted out. I'm not really super stressed about it anymore. Um, it was giving me a lot of agita, but I'm okay with whatever happens. I'm off from work next week, so I'm excited about that, getting stuff done. Um, yeah, but working, being at work at 5 a.m. is a little brutal, so that was, I was tired yesterday, I was just tired, and so I went to sleep. Um, I do want to comment on some of your comments, or respond to some of your comments. Let's see, I took pictures so I could 
reference them quickly. Sheena Bailey, you asked about adopting. You said you hated getting advice from people when you're having difficulty conceiving, but what if you adopt through foster care? I am not interested in adoption at this point. I'm not interested in foster care or I'm not interested in any system where people have to come into my house and kind of question why I'm doing what I'm doing or give me information and advice. Not because I think I know everything or because I'm doing anything weird in here. I just don't find it useful in general. I know like when Cheyenne was born, there was a program WIC, Women, Infant, and Children, um, and they were giving out advice. You, you get the coupons or whatever to get certain food, and they would just give out like it's the same advice to everyone, and it didn't apply. And like I was um, nursing her, so I was breastfeeding her, and they were constantly, like, recommending that I breastfeed. Like, I'm sitting in a room with people, so it's not that just me they're telling it to, but a room full of people. So I just didn't feel it was, like, applicable. Um, part of week they do give you formula. I didn't get that part. I did, like, the juice, um, Cheerios, whatever else it was. Um, so that was kind of my experience with, like, the public health care system, and I just didn't find it useful. So I'm not interested in um, foster care. One, there you usually don't get infants, or you get infants with special needs, and so I'm not set up to have that sort of um, care, uh, to provide that sort of care. I also... I'm a single person, and I'm not sure that they necessarily let you have foster children for single people. Even if they did, I'm, it's not something that I'm interested in. Like, I'm interested in having and raising my own child from birth to adulthood and continuing to be the mom. I've had an experience as a stepmom. When I met Cheyenne's father, he already had a child, so she has an older brother. So I've had that experience. Um, I've had that experience as an aunt. It's, it's not quite the same. Um, there are other people who are just, you know who have a final say on parenting or who have an additional say that you kind of have to, um, abide by, I guess. And yeah, I'm, I'm just not interested in it. So hopefully that answers your question. I have no judgment for people who want to do it. I think it's amazing. I just don't think it's for me. So there you go. My raisins won. You agreed with what I was saying about that people forget there are black people who are from this land. So when I say that I'm um, American. I am American. Someone else had asked, like, why do I not like the term African American? If someone else wants to identify with it, it's fine. For me, it's whitewashing my history. When you say that I'm African American, Africa is a continent. It's not a country. Um, and there's no other group of people that we refer to by their continent that they were born on. Like, for example, North America, right? We call ourselves American, Canadian, or Mexican, um, or the world calls us that, and we identify as that. So in order to call me African-American is to pretend like my ancestors were not kidnapped and enslaved here in America, and so we're just naming it the whole continent, because when I was kidnapped, when my relatives were kidnapped, there was no documentation of where they were kidnapped from on the continent of Africa. Am I Kenyan? Am I Nigerian? If I were born in Nigeria, you would refer to me as Nigerian American and I came here. Or if my parents were and then I was born here, you would refer to me by the country, not the continent. So I'm not going to pretend um, or agree to the whitewashing of my heritage. So I, I don't identify as African American. African American is not a race and it's not a nationality. I am American. I was born in America. My mother was born in America. Her mother was born in America. I am American. So that's how I identify. Oh, Tanya D. So here's another one. Tanya D said that she loves um, how supportive Cheyenne has always been from the very beginning. And it was good to see the candid conversation when we were talking about um, the double donor and how she would feel as being a much older sister to a sibling. Someone else said, I don't understand why people are so concerned with your space and if you'll have enough room. Clearly you had space in your other home and you have space now. How about taking that energy and send more baby dust your way? Anywho, I agree. I'm trying to declutter but keep buying stuff too. It's a vicious cycle. <laughs> yes, I, I don't understand why people are obsessed about the space. And um, I... Part of decluttering is you have to buy other stuff, right? And so it's about buying the right stuff. Um, but I also think... I don't like stuff to be filled to the brim, I, where Cheyenne, had her style is more to fill it up and then she'll bring in more, which is fine as long as it's in her room over there. Um, I'm happy, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, so there are things that I feel like, oh, I want to have that or it's more efficient, like buying all of the organizers for the bathroom drawer. So for a while, they were sitting in boxes on the floor in my bedroom, which is obviously taking up space. Now it's 
that the bathroom is more organized and the space where the boxes were sitting is more organized. So it is a, it is a vicious cycle, but I'm here for it. I'm liking the results. The next big thing is my closet, um, pulling out stuff. And I have like this big yoga ball that would sit in the living room in the other place. I'm not sure if I want it out here or not. Um, or if I should just get rid of it. Will TBD, TBD. Oh, Speaking of which, so either it was either Ode to Chef or my old VHS tapes had commented on when I was saying my fingers were numb about going to the chiropractor. So I did do that. I went on Monday and she snapped, crackled, and popped, and I felt so much better. She also gave me a link to online yoga videos that they have at Crossover. So I'm going to sign up for those. There's yoga and then there's something about posture, which clearly I need to work on. Um, but yeah, so thank you for the recommendation. I felt so much better. She was worried I was going to be like sore afterwards, like the next day, because she must, did a lot of massaging first and then did the um, snapping, cracking, and popping, and it was amazing. Highly recommend that. I'm going to go back to acupuncture, I think in the new year, in January. Uh, I'm off next week, but Thursday is, she's only in um, New York on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Thursday is, I think that's Christmas Eve or Christmas, and um, Tuesday I'm just not here for it. So I think post-Gen 1, I'll go back to acupuncture. Lisa says everyone's decluttering during COVID or has already done it since the beginning. I, I'm sure they have. I was not home during the beginning of COVID. I was in California and I should have decluttered before moving. Like that was the original goal, but just ran out of time because I was called back into the office when I thought I would still be working home. Like I got two days notice that I was going, or Friday I was told that I was back in the office on Monday. So whatever number of days you want to count that is the hours I was doing them early a.m. shift and then off at one and I was just dog tired so there was no like I just didn't do after work decluttering but yes I'm a fan of it I'm here for it Cindy had asked two three years later do I still recommend my supplements on the supplements video absolutely if you go through that video I describe every the background of why I needed those supplements. I stand behind that research on those. I don't need all of those now because I'm not obviously in the same place. I'm not trying to conceive with my own egg, so it's different, but I am still taking my ubiquinol. I feel like that energy in the mitochondria is important, especially if I'm going to carry a baby for nine months or 10 months. And there are other, you know, things that I'm taking. I'm taking the prenatal um, to prep my body for that. So the things that I was working on for egg quality, I don't need now, but the things that I was working on to, you know, build a better self for, um, pregnancy and delivery, I definitely need those. So I can go over, I guess, if you guys want in a video, like what I'm taking and why, but the main two things right now are the ubiquinol and the Vitapearl, which is the prenatal vitamin. Obviously, you know, I'm taking collagen and doing the bone broth, but yeah, oh, look, there's, is that Liberty? Hi who's got a feather on her. Oh my God, yesterday Cheyenne sent me a video while I was at work. She, Liberty has learned how to jump on the couch. Justice has been doing it forever, but Liberty struggles. She goes back now and takes a running start. So we'll see if she does. I'm trying to keep them away from my blanket because they claim all the blankets, like the one on the bed they've claimed. It's so soft. Um, I want this one just for myself. So thanks mom. All right, ladies, I believe that is it. I don't know what the plan is for the rest of Vlogmas. I am going to get this up today and we'll see how it goes. If I can find lighting, there's a snowstorm coming. So it is meant to start at four. Originally they thought two and it's going to go into tomorrow. So they're telling everyone to kind of batten down the hatches. We'll see what the light looks like. And if I'm able to actually film and you can see me, then I'll do that. And I have the time and the energy to, to um, shoot and edit. <sighs> but I think that's the catch up. Let me know in the comments below. How are you doing? What's going on? If you're in New Oh, that was Justice. I thought that was the video. I was going to say, oh, you did it. Um, She's on my blanket. Hey, 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 hey. Hi. All right. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's what's going on with me. I hope you are well. Let me know down below what's going on with you. Talk to you later. Bye. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Baby does to us all.